Paris today. I'm going to do a classic French dish. It's called papillot. Basically, I've got a few different types of fish here, but it's basically just a closed fish. You can only you can put basically more vegetables and whatever you want. So we've got broccoli, we've got leek, fennel, lemon. It's a really healthy dish, just because it cooks in its natural juices. You don't put anything else in there. You can, but if you want it to the flavour, it don't really need to. Okay. So say for example, we've got sea bass, we've got pink thorns. We've got smoke paddock, we've got trout. I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna use the bit, the paddock. Just take your little bits of broccoli. Make sure everything is cut quite fine, quite small. Just make like a little bed, just a little bed on the bottom. Okay. Place the fish on top, and then we put lemon and then we close. I'm going to change this, I'm going to make it a bit different. I'm going to put a bit of prawn in there as well. I'm going to put two lemons on the top. And basically what people will do is they'll staple round, fold it over and staple it, and then you oven cook it. But basically we're not going to do that. I'm going to show you the way where you can cook it in a pan or on a barbecue. So, tin foil, parchment paper, basically just want to seal it so there's no way the air can escape because that's what cooks it, the steam. Okay. Once it's sealed, we're going to return to a really hot pan. Just like that. And that is literally going to take about five minutes. So why? So why am I going to that to cook? I'm going to show you another classic French dish, escabiche. Usually you have escabiche with mackerel, mackerel escabiche. It's basically just a pickling liquor. You cook the vegetables in the pickling liquor, then you pan fry the fish, then you return it into a plate and pour the juice over with the fish. But I'm not going to use mackerel, I'm going to change it again and I'm going to use sea bass. The first thing I want to do, on the heat, I'm going to get some sugar, water, same amount, and then half the amount of sugar. In here, you can add other stuff like bay lids, you can add cloves, you can add a lot of stuff. But the main ingredients for it is sugar, water, vinegar, we've got our carrots, fennel, lemon. It's all in there. I'm going to let that cook down for about three to four minutes. Okay, just make sure you keep moving the patio. If you touch it, you'll be able to feel it bubbling. You'll be able to feel the vibrations, and that's the steam, and that's what the juice is bubbling at the bottom. You can see there's smoke coming out of it already, and steam. So we know that it's working. So we know that it's good, okay? Cooking down, this is cooking as well. You can see when you pan fry fish, skin side down, always want to give it a little slip. It'll stop it curling up. Also, to stop it sticking and make sure you get a really crisp skin, you put salt on top. I've already put salt on top and it's already dissolved into the skin. Again, with the escabiche. You don't have to use just mackerel, you don't have to use just sea bass, you can use pretty much any fish you want. Very versatile, the same like the packet, very versatile. Okay. So this is still bubbling away, it's starting to get a bit more rapid, so I see a lot more steam come out of there now. Make sure we don't want that to, any steam to get out. The fish is a really quick thing to cook anyway, it only takes five minutes maximum, especially if you're doing it like this. Six minutes at the most. So for me, if we let this sit, that is practically done. If we let it rest, maybe two minutes, leave it inside, and the steam will carry on cooking it, okay? Now, 
You slowly reduce the thick of the cup. This as well is really quick. Only takes five to six minutes, all the flavour will come together. You can also do it a way where you serve it cold. You'll make this exactly the same way. You'll pour it on top of your fish in a tray, and then you leave that in a glass chiller or a cooler overnight, and in the morning, it'll be cured, it'll be cooked. It'll be really nice. Right. So, a little bit of oil and cap. Also, to stop the skin curling up, all you have to do is take it off the heat as soon as you put it in. Let it rest for maybe 10 seconds. We'll come back down. And then you turn to heat and it won't curl over. Okay? As you can see, that's cooking down really nicely. Just to get the skin really crispy, we're actually going to finish cooking it in this brine, in this liquor, okay? We just want it crispy. While this is working, I'll take you back over to the cafe. You'd serve this on the table, just leave it exactly inside, and how we serve, we literally just open it on the table so you'll get all the aromas, all the smells. And if you have a look in there, you see everything's cooked all the way down the prawns, the haddock, all the veg underneath is soft and cooked. And as simple as that for the cup here, okay? A different color, that's how you know it's ready. I'm <clears throat> gonna take out, I'm gonna pop each one inside. That's gonna need maybe a minute maximum. And if you can just see, make sure it's on the top so it's just working nicely. You don't have to rapid boil it, but if you want to need a quick fix for a meal, anything like that, really simple, really easy to do. Right, okay. Now, for me, that's about ready. That's what we're going to do. Ready to go. Up like this. Right. So we have the sea bass. Now, you can always use the veg, which are fully cooked, for all the flavour. Okay. Lemons on top. Make sure you get some of that liquor all over it. If you want to garnish it, use a bit of parsley, fennel stalks, use whatever you want. The trick is just make sure you get that fry in there. And those two, really quick, really easy, classical ways of cooking fish. Cheers.